Hello everyone. I hope you've had a wonderful weekend. I'm here at my uh, daughter's house in Port St. Lucie uh, and uh, enjoying this beautiful weather we've had the last couple of days, 60 degrees. People here in Palm Beach County, once they uh, um, get below 70, gets to 60 degrees, they start wearing the earmuffs and their, their, their scarves and their, their heavy coats. Uh, I also, uh, so it's, uh, it's pretty cold for us, but I realize that you all in, in Virginia in other parts of the United States, uh, this is uh, very, very nice weather, and it's beautiful here too. I also had the pr pleasure last week of uh, last weekend of going to Virginia, uh, right around Harrisonburg. Every every weekend, uh, first weekend in October for like the last 30 years, uh, my family has had the opportunity to go and uh, spend a weekend and enjoy the beautiful, beautiful Virginia uh, mountains uh, in around Harrisburg, Northern Virginia area. Uh, well, why I'm doing this uh, video announcement, my, our last announcement for the for the uh, term, is to let you know that last night I did post the the grades. Uh, they they were good. Uh, some of you I know didn't do as well as as uh, you expected, but uh, I know that you tried hard. You worked hard. I, I know that. I know there's some issues. I know there's some family uh, issues. I know that there were some blackboard and, and course compass issues. But uh, uh, you, uh, you, you worked hard and you, you did well, and I appreciate it very much. Uh, if you have any questions on any of the grades, if you can't see it on Blackboard, please email me and I'll, I'll send back the information to you uh, what your grade is and, uh, uh, and let, let you know exactly what, uh, what, what your grade was. Now, uh, if there's any... Uh, uh, I sort of like this for the for the last announcement. I know that like, sometimes on an online course we don't have the opportunity to really get to know each other very well, but I do appreciate the ability to get to know you a little bit and how how wonderful uh, uh, men and women that you are. I uh, I know that God has great things in store for you. Uh, if you have, are finishing up your work your coursework at Liberty, I I pray that all your your, uh, your future, your job, uh, your family goes well, and if you're still in the middle of your coursework at, at Liberty, I just uh, also pray that you would uh, everything go well, and the other courses will, would um, work out just, just wonderfully for you. I know God has great things for you. God has not reneged on any of his promises for all eternity, and he's not going to renege on helping you and being there for you. Let me read one scripture that's especially important for, uh, for me. It's one of my favorites. It's in Isaiah, Isaiah uh, 40, 28 to 31. Now I apologize for having read it. I did have it memorized, but I don't now. But uh, so, so hang in there with me while I read it. It's Isaiah 40, 28 to 31. It says, do you not know, have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary, and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. About those who hope, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. A church I belonged to in, in New Jersey. There was a song that went with that. Uh, that last verse, uh, and I will not, I will not uh, sing it for you. I don't think that you that would uh, you enjoy that very much. But it is a wonderful song. That, uh, some of these wonderful scriptures uh, go along so well with uh, with hymns and songs, uh, and uh, they're just beautiful, and they uh, run through my mind, especially in times of trouble. Uh, now, uh, again, I, I do appreciate the time we've had together. Uh, if we never uh, meet on this side of heaven. Uh, that would be too bad, but if we do meet, that would be great. If we meet, don't meet until heaven, that would even be better because then you and I can worship the Lord together and praise His name. Remember, like Paul said, by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, and First letter to the Corinthians, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain. 
in the Lord. Amen. Let me pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you and praise you so much for this quick little eight weeks we've had together as a class. I pray that you'll be with these students, help them and their families, Lord. Direct them and guide them to go closer to you and to all the things that you put in their hearts, the visions that you put in their hearts, that you would come, help it come to fruition. We pray that you would bless them in every way. Help them, we pray, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the fall.